So here's the pulley that I designed for the radio control model that I've been uh, uploading in some of the videos and photos. And it's a 3D printed part. Basically uh, just a simple pulley. It's done in three pieces. It's got the, uh, the pulley itself and uh, the two plates that attach with a couple screws in this case. And on the larger one, which is at four times uh, the, the size, I'll be doing this with a, um, I think these are quarter 20 screws. Um, I'll be using washers, you know, for a little more reinforcement. Also on this bolt here. Uh, right now, this is just a prototype in this um, and this is the reason why it shows it in, um, in kind of a matrix uh, crosshatch uh, pattern see-through uh, and that was to save material this is something that I typically do when I print uh, prototype parts uh, that I need to check um, just for uh, uh, look and mainly for, for, for looks not so much for mechanical consistency or, or precision so because I know this little guy works I went ahead and printed this one but I still wanted to double check some of the uh, uh, clearances and tolerances this has a gap here of about um, an eighth of an inch that will be uh, taken out with the insertion of a couple of bolt bearings on this um, uh, pulley one per side and those will be skateboard uh, bearings basically the, just a standard skateboard bearing that will go inside the either the um, the pulley I may also decide to put the ball bearings on the outside here of the uh, these plates so it's still undecisive on that but I mean this this works I mean it works as is because this is riding on a on the um, um, neck of the of the bolt here which is uh, smooth it's only the, the last uh, half inch that is uh, threaded but being that this is PLA and not ABS um, and even if, if it was PLA, uh, ABS I think it still needs uh, the uh, ball bearings just, uh, just to keep it nice and spinning freely without any, any friction and without the risk of uh, heating up the, uh, the material from so much uh, use but anyway, this is the uh, the pulley system that I'm I'm going to be using. I may decide to uh, uh, modify this uh, just the size of the enclosure here, just a little bit, just to make it a little more compact. I mean, it doesn't need to be that big, really. Um, and I can double up uh, the use of the this bolt here, uh, you know, just with a, with a hook, with just a um, a C. Um, just a C-clamp uh, type of hook here, you know, to attach it to the to the boom or to other parts of the the trike. Also, this section here is, you know, does not need to be that that long. It can be a little more closer to the to the pulley here. But so basically, uh, um, just wanted to do this video to capture this and just talk about these. Uh, uh, parts here. Uh, I'll be doing some more uh, videotaping of the trike and the sail as it uh, uh, develops and we'll be posting that uh, soon. Thanks for watching.